In the name of God, I'm Asghar Azizian, and in this part, I'm going to teach you about bridge scoring process and how can you use Hecker's 1D model for estimation of score depth. Uh, okay, uh, let me introduce uh, the details of uh, this course, uh, this part. Uh, as you know, a uh, bridge score is the removal of uh, sediments such as sand and gravel uh, from around bridge abutments and piers. Hydrodynamic uh, score caused by fast flowing water uh, can carve out uh, score holes, compromising the integrity of structure. Generally, uh, bridge scoring uh, is one of the main three causes of bridge failures. Uh, research sh have, uh, have shown that uh, about 60% uh, of all bridge failures result from uh, score and other hydraulic related uh, causes. Uh, Eastern channel instability resulting in river erosion and changing angle of attack uh, can contribute to a bridge score. Uh, uh, also, debris flow can also can have substantial materials uh, and impact on a bridge score in several ways. Uh, in this uh, part, uh, we want to explain all about uh, bridge scoring in HECRAS uh, using an you know, applied pr uh, project. In order to better a representation of uh, bridge scoring, uh, in this part I'm using a HECRAS uh, manual uh, and we'll discuss uh, about some important issues. Uh, as you can see, uh, in order to perform a bridge score analysis, uh, the user must uh, develop a study project and then go to uh, bridge scoring. Okay, uh, this model uh, should include several cross sections uh, downstream from the bridge and uh, upstream of the uh, bridge. Uh, the model should also include several uh, cross sections, as I mentioned, around the pier. Uh, and uh, you didn't uh, estimate the score depth only using uh, one cross section uh, upstream and downstream of the model. You should uh, create a completely uh, natural uh, cross sections uh, in HECRAST and then uh, locate your bridge uh, inside between two uh, cross sections and then start to uh, estimate the bridge scoring. Uh, the hydro modeling of the bridge uh, should be based on the procedure outlined in Chapter 5 uh, of HECRAS uh, reference manual. And after finishing this part, uh, uh, I will uh, explain about the equations and some parameters of uh, score depth estimation. Uh, if you have observed uh, data set, you can uh, calibrate uh, the score depth in HECRAS. In general, the design event for score analysis is usually uh, the 100-year return period. In addition to this event, uh, some researcher engineers recommended that uh, you should use a 500-year return period discharge uh, to evaluate the bridge foundation under super flood condition. Okay, uh, in order to better uh, hydraulic uh, simulation, the user must uh, request the flow distribution output for cross section uh, inside the bridge. And we, uh, you, you will learn uh, about these uh, items in the next steps. Okay, uh, the flow uh, uh, distribution option must be uh, turned on in order to get more details of. Uh, scoring depths and velocity at various location within the cross section upstream or downstream of the uh, bridge. Uh, after performing the water surface profile calculation, I mean uh, after finishing, uh, after the running of uh, HECRAS model in steady state uh, conditions, you can go to the next steps and uh, define uh, the desired equation and uh, other related parameters to estimate score depths. Uh, 
uh, finally, the total uh, score uh, at the highway cross, uh, crossing is comprised of uh, three components. Line term aggreg uh, aggregation or degradation is one of the most important issues for a better estimation of score depths. Uh, and then contract and the con uh, contraction store, uh, score, which is related to the uh, flu. Uh, and finally, local score at piers and abutment of the bridge. This score competition in ACRAS uh, software allowed the user to compute a contraction score and local score at piers and abutment. Uh, the current version of ACRAS does not allow the user to evaluate simultaneously a uh, long term aggregation or degradation uh, in order to uh, to perform or run or simulate this issue you should uh, simulate a crash model in a sediment part i mean you should uh, uh, use a crash and uh, define this uh, sedimentation data set and after running the sediment model uh, you can estimate the value of aggregation and degradation uh, near the pier and uh, after running the uh, HECRAS uh, for pier and uh, abutment uh, score depth uh, you can uh, sum all uh, score to uh, reach the final results okay uh, as you can see in this uh, window uh, the model uh, for estimation of uh, uh, bridged uh, score uh, consists of uh, three tabs contraction, pier, and abutment. Uh, in the contraction section, uh, the model uh, requires uh, some hydraulic parameters and some uh, uh, parameters for bit material, bit material and the equation uh, you should use to estimate the contraction score. Uh, and some uh, parameters related to live bed uh, specific data. And the uh, approach XS uh, river station uh, means that the upstream of uh, cross section to this uh, bridge. Uh, as you can see uh, in this uh, window, uh, you can see uh, some green color numbers. Uh, these numbers uh, means that, uh, or this color means that. Uh, the model automatically uh, calculated um, hydraulic parameter. For example, E grade one related to water depths at the upstream of uh, bridge score. Uh, V one is related to the velocity of flow uh, at the cross section uh, is located upstream of bridge, and other parameters related to. Uh, hydraulic uh, values uh, of a stream or inside the bridge. For example, uh, Y0 is related to water depths, to water depths inside the depths, inside the bridge, excuse me. Uh, and a Q2 is the value of a flow discharge in left over bank, in main channel, and a right over bank. And W2 is related to uh, flood extent in right and left flood plane and main channel. And finally, D50 is related to uh, base materials. And you should define uh, for three parts of LOV, channel, and ROV. Okay, in the next, uh, don't worry, in the next uh, steps, uh, I will explain more about the calculation of this parameter and equation. And in this part, uh, I, uh, I'm going uh, to explain the general description of uh, bridge scoring options in Haycrest. Okay. Uh, as you can see in this part, uh, the user manual describes uh, how can you use or how you can uh, enter or define the input parameters or values to uh, each tab. Okay, for example, as I mentioned, uh, EGRE1, the average depths in left uh, overbank, main channel, and right overbank at the approach cross section, I mean the upstream cross sections of bridge. 
uh, V1, the average velocity of flow in uh, LOB, main channel, ROB at the approach section. And other uh, parameters is completely clear and uh, they don't require to more explanation. Uh, in some uh, parts, we need some uh, correction factors. For example, in this uh, part, you can see K1, uh, which is uh, an exponent for the live bit uh, contraction score uh, equation that accounts for the model of bed material transport. And in the uh, hydraulic reference, uh, I will show the values of this exponent or coefficient. Okay, uh, let me, uh, excuse me, let me start uh, in HECRAS and we can more explain about items in this uh, section. Okay, first of all, uh, I load and open the HECRAS models uh, about a bridge scoring. Uh, I click on default project folder and go to the study example and you can see the example 11 is related to bridge score. Uh, when, uh, when you uh, when the first time you install the HECRAS model, uh, you can uh, install the example projects. If you don't have uh, this section, uh, don't worry. Uh, you just go uh, to Help menu and click on Download Example Projects and then install that uh, and they will automatically install in your computer and you can easily access to uh, projects. Okay, I go to open projects and click on default projects and go to the steady example and select bridge score example 11 and then click OK. As you can see, this project is in the US or FUTIC uh, units. Uh, I'm going to geometric data set and go to the bridge. And in the previous uh, videos and parts, uh, I am I completely discuss about how can you use how can you define a bridge in HECRAS model. And so in this part, uh, I'm not going to uh, define bridge again. You just uh, define big uh, roadway, pier, and abutment, and you can see just uh, like this shape. Okay, uh, when you uh, create your cross sections and define the location of your bridge, okay, uh, you should uh, run the model. In this example, the, uh, we want to simulate the uh, hydraulic properties for this uh, peak flood one and uh, I run the model in a steady state condition and then click on compute and model starts to simulation and after a little bit second the model simulation will be finished okay I close the model uh, at this time uh, our model is ready I created uh, uh, I uh, we uh, created the cross sections and the location of our bridge and then we go uh, we will go to the bridge score parts and start to enter and uh, define uh, required parameters in a request model uh, uh, you should click on hd icon on the main uh, request menu And you can see this window. And in the menu, in the type menu, you can see several options in this model. And you should select bridge score. Okay, as you can see uh, in this window, we have 
three main cap contraction pierre and applicant okay uh, this uh, as i mentioned before this green colors means that model automatically calculated the hydraulic parameters uh, upstream and inside of the bridge and entered or entered in this session and you don't need to change or calculate other uh, hydraulic parameters and HECRAS uh, completely uh, and automatically calculated these values for LOB channel and ROB parts. Okay, uh, in this uh, tab you should only uh, change or define some uh, uh, parameter. For example, D50, uh, you should uh, enter the required and suitable values for this uh, part. Okay, in this example, uh, the D50 for different part of the channel is about 2 millimeter. Uh, okay, uh, for contraction, ACRAS, uh, for contraction uh, equation uh, uses two different equations, live and clear for LOB channel and ROB. Okay, what's the a live and clear equation. Okay, don't worry. Uh, we just go to the uh, hydro reference and uh, you can see uh, there are uh, several description about determination of live bed or clear bed contraction score. Uh, okay, here Chris uh, uses uh, uh, critical velocity and mean velocity to define uh, the live or clear water conditions. In ACRAS uh, reference manual, they say that uh, if the critical velocity of bed material is greater than the mean velocity at upper uh, cross section, I mean upstream cross section, then clear water contraction score is the best uh, choice. And if the critical velocity of the bed material is less than the mean velocity at the approach uh, cross sections, then live bed contraction score is uh, assumed. Uh, okay, uh, in HECRAS model, uh, you can uh, use a Larsen model, Larsen equation, for calculation of uh, critical velocity. Uh, critical velocity is the function of KU. Uh, uh, y1 and D50. Uh, y1 is the average depths, is the average depths of flow in the main channel or LOB or other uh, banks. D50 bed material particle size and uh, KU is a coefficient, is a coefficient and in English unit uh, about six and in English unit is about 11. Okay, uh, the model uh, calculate these parameters and define uh, which condition can be select uh, for modeling. Okay, uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can use some of these value or you can calculate uh, some values and uh, based on this equation and choose the live or clear conditions. Uh, okay, if the, the if you can, uh, if you select or calculate, or uh, if you find uh, the mode is live bed or clear uh, water, uh, you can use the suitable equations. In a class model for live bed contraction score, model uses a Hague number 18 uh, formula uh, for estimation of score depths. Okay? Yeah, yeah, equate to uh, average depths uh, after score in the uh, contracting section. Uh, equate uh, zero average depth is the main channel of flow rate at the contraction score. And Y1 average depths at the approach cross section or opposite cross section. Uh, and uh, Q2, Q1, W1, and W2 
is related to follow in main channel or uh, left or right uh, flood plains which transported as uh, sediment, uh, sediment and uh, Q2 uh, flow in the main channel or flood plain at the contracted uh, section uh, which is uh, transporting sediment uh, W1 and W2 is uh, related to bottom width uh, in main channel LOB, ROB uh, and K1 an uh, exponent for the mood of bed material uh, for example for mostly contacted uh, bed material discharge K1 is can be used about uh, 0 0.59 and for a mostly suspended uh, bed material you can use this value for a uh, K1 uh, however uh, as you can see, the, mo the model automatically calculates Q1 uh, and W1, and in this part, uh, it calculates it calculated Q2 and W2. And for calculation or estimation of K1, you can uh, click on the K button. And uh, in this part, uh, you should only uh, enter water temperature, for example. I change uh, water temperature to uh, 8, uh, 80 Fahrenheit and you can see the KA uh, for different parts of LOB channel and ROB uh, uh, changed and uh, if you enter your desired uh, water temperature you just click on OK and you can see for different parts of LOB channel and ROB the required and the suitable values are calculated and the approach excess river station is related to uh, approach or upstream cross sections of the bridge okay uh, these uh, settings or parameters uh, belong to contraction tabs uh, in the peer uh, section uh, there are several uh, uh, options and several uh, definitions for better representation of uh, peer and score calculation. In the peer uh, section, you can see maximum uh, V1 and Y1 and local V1 and uh, multiply Y1. Okay, let me go to the user manual. Uh, as you can see, uh, they, it says that if the user select this option, the program will find the maximum velocity and dips uh, located in the cross section just upstream and outside of the bridge. The program uses the flow distribution output to obtain this value. The maximum V1 and Y1 will be used for all values, and you can uh, estimate the maximum uh, scoring dips. Uh, through the modeling and the local uh, v1 multiply uh, y1 uh, if the user select this option the program will find the velocity and dips at the cross section just upstream and outside of the bridge that correspond to center line station of each uh, peers and in this uh, uh, when you use this option you can't uh, estimate the maximum uh, or the maximum potential of uh, scoring depths uh, around the peers. Uh, however, uh, this option is completely okay uh, for natural rivers and you can uh, run model using maximum and local option and then compare the results and select the uh, worst options to better uh, uh, better management of your uh, bridge uh, peers. Okay, uh, uh, after choosing one of these uh, options, uh, you should uh, define uh, these options uh, will be used uh, for which of uh, these, these peers. And in this section, we select apply to all peers and the model uh, use these options for all peers. Okay, and then uh, you should select the shape of your peers. 
the shape of uh, pear is one of the most important factors uh, that can uh, lead to a higher or lower uh, score. In this uh, model, uh, class, uh, you can use a square nose, round nose, circular cylinder, or group of cylinder, and sharp nose. And in this uh, example, we will use uh, round nose. If you're changing the shape, uh, the shape uh, icon, the parameter of K1 uh, will be changed. Let me check again. Uh, in this section, I, I'm going to use a score nose. And you can see some of these values, for example, K1, K2, K3 uh, has, uh, has changed. Uh, for estimation of uh, bridge uh, scoring depths around the piers, uh, ECRAS uses uh, two uh, different equations, CSU and Froelich equation. Okay, let me check or um, introduce uh, the CSU equation structures and uh, find more information about this formula. Okay, as you can see in this, uh, in the Hecrest reference manual, it says that uh, the factors that uh, affect the depths uh, of local score, which including uh, velocity at the upstream, depths of flow, width of pier, length of the pier is skewed to the flow, size and gradation of bit material, angle of attack of approach flow, shape of the pier, uh, bed configuration, and the formation of ice jams and debris. Okay, uh, in HECRAS uh, number 18, uh, it recommends that uh, the use of Colorado State uh, University or CSU equations for computation of PR scores is the best choice in both uh, live bed or clear water conditions. However, uh, the Equation developed by uh, Dr. Uh, David Froelich has also been added as an alternative uh, peer scoring uh, uh, equation. In the SCS, uh, uh, SCU equation, uh, you can uh, find uh, the equation which is a function of K1, K2, K3, K4, A, E grade 1, and truth number 1. Uh, YS is the depth of S score. K1 is the contraction, is the correction factor for Pierre news shape. And therefore, uh, this factor is completely related to shape of uh, bridge. K2, uh, K2 is the correction factor for angle of attack of flu. And K3 is the correction factor for bed conditions. And finally, K4. Uh, correction factor for armoring of bed material. A is the pier width. Y1 is the flow depth directly upstream of the pier. And food number is directly upstream of the pier and related to uh, upstream cross sections of a bridge. Okay, uh, in this table you can see uh, for Different shape of uh, pier nose, the value of K1 change between this value and this value. For example, for S square noise, uh, K y equals to uh, 1.1, and for sharp nose, it's lower than 1. For K2 uh, model, we use uh, this formula for estimation of K2. However, in the in this table, you can see, uh, excuse me, uh, K2 uh, is completely is a function of the angle of attack of the flow, uh, and if the theta or angle is equal uh, 19, you can see the K2 is equal L divided per A uh, exponent. 0.65 and it says that if uh, L per A is larger than uh, 12 the program uses 
uh, LA equal uh, 12 as a maximum in equation of foliage. If the angle of uh, attack is greater than 5 degree, K do dominates and K yek should be set 1. The software does this automatically and you don't need to do some uh, other uh, settings or change. And K3 uh, is related to bed condition. For a small dunes and plain bed and anti dune float, uh, it's, uh, or for large dunes, it's ranged between this value and this value. And K4 uh, model uses uh, the equation developed by J.S. Jones for analysis for uh, estimation of correction factor 4. Uh, and this uh, formula uses different uh, equations for estimation of VR. For example, for VR, uh, first of all, it uh, uses uh, V1, VI, uh, VI50, VC50, and VI95. Uh, and for each uh, variable, again, it uses or it develops a, a different equation. For example, for I50, the model automatically calculates uh, this formula and for I95, it calculates this formula. And for VC50, I mean uh, critical uh, velocity uh, above critical velocity for D50 bed materials and uh, DC95 is the critical velocity for D95 bed material size. And in, the, in this table, it says that for D50 uh, larger than this value, the maximum K value can be used uh, 0 0.4 and just this. And you don't need to calculate these formulas to find uh, the value of K4 and the model uh, will automatically calculate these values. Okay, uh, uh, this uh, description is related to CSU equation. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, in HECRAS, uh, you can use uh, other equation for estimation of uh, scoring around the bridge. Uh, and this equation is belonging to uh, Dr. David Froelich and has been uh, added to HECRAS software as an alternative to CSU equation. And as you can see, uh, the equations, these equations relate the score depths to uh, Y1 for number, D50, uh, pair widths, and other parameters related to angle of attack or the location of bridge. Uh, it says that uh, phi correction factor for pier nose shape, uh, phi equal to 1.3. Uh, for a score noise, pier and uh, phi equal to 1 for rounded uh, round uh, nose pairs and uh, phi equal to 0 0.5 for sharp nose and apron projected uh, pier width with respect to the direction of flow and uh, this is and this value is completely uh, is the function of angle of attack Okay, let me check. Uh, as you can see, when you select a CSU equation, you should uh, enter K1 and the black color required can be changed by you. Okay, uh, for a score for sharp nose, K1 is equal to 0 0.9 and you can Enter angle of uh, uh, attack of flow. For example, uh, I want to enter this value, and you can see the k is automatically changed. Okay, we assume that in this uh, example, uh, our bridge is located completely uh, perpendicular to the uh, reverse center line, and we don't have any angle of attack. 
and therefore uh, I change this value to zero. And you can see for this uh, angle of attack of the flow approaching to the pier, the K2 uh, is equal one. And K3, as I mentioned, related to uh, water mood. For example, clear uh, water score or small dunes or large dunes. Uh, for example, if you uh, are model, if you are going to model uh, the bridge score in a large dune, you can use this section. And for plain bed and anti dunes, you should select this value for K3. And in this section you should uh, define D95 of, of bed material size and a model uh, automatically calculate the K4 values. For example, uh, I want to change this value and there aren't any. Okay, let me fix this value. And uh, as you can see, uh, this section is completely uneditable because uh, this part is related to Froelich equation, not uh, CSU. When you select CSU, you should only change or uh, set uh, these values. And when you uh, change this uh, method to Froelich equation, this part uh, cannot be editable and you should only edit these values. Okay, and this is a, a projected a peer width and, uh, and by changing, and if uh, your bridge is located or have angle of attack, uh, this value uh, can be calculated uh, out of the headcrest and then enter in this part. Okay, let me select CS equation. Uh, after defining the related equations and other settings, uh, you should go to the uh, abutments. I mean abutments related to this part. Let me show. Uh, uh, this part uh, is related to right abutment. And this part is related to left abutment. And in the abutment part, uh, you can use different equations. For example, in a class, you, uh, you can use the full reach or higher uh, equation. Okay, let me check the related equations. As you can see, the higher equation is recommended in a class number 18 report. And uh, these equations obtained by the U.S. Uh, Corp of, uh, Corp of uh, Army Engineering Center is uh, this and in this uh, formula, uh, what YS is uh, score depths around the abutment, uh, Y1 is the water depth uh, of the toe on the overbank or main channel, K2 K is the correction factor for abutment shape, K2 correction factor for angle of attack with the abutment if the theta or angle is equal to 90 uh, when the abutment are perpendicular to the flow and uh, theta lower than uh, 90 if the abutment points down the stream. Uh, and in this uh, table, uh, the, uh, for vertical wall abutment, for, uh, vertical wall abutment uh, with wing walls and spill through abutments, the value of k range between this value and this value. And for K2, uh, the model used this figure uh, for estimation of K2. Uh, for angle of attack, for example, 19, you should just click in this part and go up and uh, cross the curve and go to the left side and you can see the K2 can be equal about one and it completely related to angle of attack for example for 45 we can 
estimate this value for k2 okay i use uh, here equation and in he uh, here equation for higher equation uh, you don't need to change uh, any settings or any values because the model automatically and only use and only require uh, uh, v1 or velocity at the upstream cross sections uh, for right and left and in this part we don't need to main channel because the abutment uh, score is completely related to abutments and not only to main channels okay uh, the toy station at, at upper uh, at bridge a length y1 uh, these values complete uh, automatically calculated by the model yeah, and as i said uh, u k1 is related to the uh, abutment shape for example for vertical abutment the k1 is equal to 1 and sq degree the angle of the angle of flow attack and in this example the 90 degree uh, is used and the k2 is completely uh, automatically calculated for example if i change this uh, value and you can see the variation of k2 and v1 for example as you can see the l prime value change okay let me go enter this value okay uh, in this uh, equation part you just only uh, select or choose your required formula uh, and in this uh, part uh, i want to use Froelich, and you can see uh, only just this value must be calculated with the user and other parameters completely calculated by the model and you don't need do anything okay uh, after defining these uh, options and setting the model is ready to compute score depths in, in different parts uh, when you uh, define accurately all parameters uh, you, you, you just uh, click on apply button and click on compute uh, as you can see uh, the bridge scoring a shape around the abutment left and right and around the pier is calculated and uh, is shown in this figure okay uh, click on report and you can see the details of input data sets input data sets for different parts and for a contraction score you can see a score depths for left uh, and channel left overbank and channel part is equal to uh, 250 and equal to 6.65 foot and the equation is clear live uh, for pi score uh, uh, we use csc equation and you can see the score depth around the piers is equal to uh, yeah, or approximately uh, equal to uh, 10 foot and for abutment score uh, you can see the score depth around the abutment is very high because the flow is very uh, because uh, this model uh, is round uh, is simulated for a uh, very flooding um, conditions and finally the model uh, combines all the score depths and you can see uh, the peer score plus uh, contraction score for left bank and right bank is about these values and left uh, abutment score plus score yeah, contraction score and right abutment is equal is value and you can see uh, the abutment the abutment of this sphere experience will experience a, a high value for score depth uh, and uh, for uh, reaching better and accurate results uh, you should 
check uh, different options and different formulas and then uh, calculate the scoring depth around peers and abutment and then uh, compare with observed data set in some location of uh, bridge uh, because uh, neglecting this uh, issue uh, lead to a high value of a score estimation and you need to uh, go to the field and estimate uh, some observed uh, bridge scoring values for uh, some bridge and then uh, try to use uh, related equations or accurate values and then uh, estimate uh, or calibrate the model and estimate scoring depths uh, in an accurate way. Uh, okay, uh, I think that this uh, description is completely uh, okay for you uh, and you just only uh, try to create a, a bridge for your case and start to uh, start to set or change this value and equations and compare the results and and then uh, decide to select the best one for your case because uh, each of these equations is located to uh, some study for example foolish equation is related to American uh, reverse and maybe uh, this formula formula cannot be used to other reverse uh, moreover uh, moreover this uh, formula may be blind to experimental or laboratory uh, case studies and uh, completely different to real and natural reverse uh, in most cases study, I personally, I personally uh, use uh, some observed or collect some observed data sets about scoring uh, for the bridge in my uh, study, uh, study uh, river reach, and then try to find the best formula uh, that calculates uh, the bridge score as uh, as much as or as like as uh, observed data set. Okay, uh, I hope uh, you are in, enjoying uh, this uh, part and uh, if you have any question about uh, the bridge screen, you can uh, you just uh, contact me and I'm try, I, I will try my best to help you uh, to help you. Have a good time and see you in the next or in the other parts. Bye-bye.